Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm making a video because in my last video, I think it was not the last one, but the one before that, uh, I mentioned that there was going to be an update this month for the Lenovo Legion Y700. Uh, so I check the Lenovo mirrors probably every week uh, or every every few days sometimes. Uh, I put, put, just put reminders on my computer to uh, check the mirrors and there's been an update. Now, what I wasn't expecting was it to be Android 15, but it is Android 15. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a minute. Hi everyone, welcome back. In my previous video, I mentioned that there was going to be an update for the Lenovo Legion Y700. Uh, now, I was expecting this update to be a bug fix update, uh, but it turns out it's actually a full Android 15 build. Uh, I found it in the mirrors first. Uh, I checked the mirrors and saw that it was a new version. Uh, and then straight away went on to XDA, typed that version into XDA, and another user has basically installed it and done a bit of a a bit of a debrief on, 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 on the build. Now there's a few issues, so I need to make you aware of this, but I'm gonna switch over to screen capture and we can kind of go through it together. Okay, so hopefully this all comes through okay. Uh, but let me first of all start in the mirror. So this is the build here. It's a ZUI 17. So it's a new ZUI version. Um, 245 stable. And this is the uh, rest of the world wrong. So if you've if you followed this guide originally and managed to flash your tablet to the uh, global version if it originally started life as a china version and you followed this and were able to flash it uh, using the same method with the rsa and things like that um, then this this update will apply to you as well now normally i have had updates through the lenovo system update tool so every single tablet and phone uh, that's on android has a feature to ask for an update uh, and it's right down at the bottom you click on about tablet and then system update which is about there and it should basically launch a system update but for some reason mine isn't offering me any update even though there is an update so i actually wrote a comment on xta uh, to the user that had installed it and kind of just asked them a little bit about they use the same method so, uh, to install the the rest of the world ROM on theirs. And they made that clear right at the start. Uh, theirs is a China version that they've installed the global ROM onto. Um, and then they've done a full breakdown of the build. And they've a couple of comments underneath. I'm guessing this is other people that have, that have tested it. Saying that uh, theirs was converted from a China ROM to a global ROM. But this build has a touch input freezing on Call of Duty Mobile. Um, so there's a bit of a lag when basically playing some games. Uh, they did notice that the temperatures were slightly better. Um, and then another person has said this update is a total mess. It's practically unusable. But the main purpose is gaming. Uh, so in my experience, severe touch freezing and stuttering during games, especially GeForce Now. Um, and then some of the, the <clears throat> another user has kind of come in and said, you know, did you optimize it after the install? So it's it's going to be up to you if you want to install this update. Um, if it's not offering it you through the system update, the comment that I left uh, just basically outlined this. It said, uh, this is me. I said, I have the same tablet, a China ROM converted a pre-774 without unlocking the bootloader uh, through the RSA. Uh, I've had updates through the system update before, but I'm not getting this update. Um, just thought I would ask if there's anything I can do. Um, how did you install it? That's That was my basic uh, question. And uh, thankfully, this user got back to me and basically said, you're going to just have to manually install it. So I said, right, okay. So the file to actually install this is is on XDA and the mirrors. Um, so if they've left the link to it, which I will leave in the description as well. Um, and it's right here. So this is the uh, 
OTA, so over the air update, uh, Lenovo firmware, and then dot zip. So I think I've already downloaded it. I'll just click it again and just see. Yeah, so I've already downloaded it. So I've got a bot on that. And then the way that you would install this is you would change the name to OTA dot zip and that's it. So the way that you actually install this is simply change the name of the zip file to OTA.zip. Uh, so you can just delete all of the name and just change it to that. And then what I tend to do is use a app called Local Send, uh, And then that's the tablet. I'll select the file. Because for me, my PC is going to be much faster download than my tablet. Uh, so it's basically easier to do this so these are the different versions that i've downloaded this one is from the lenovo servers uh, this one is off the xda uh, and then this one is i think off another lenovo server so i'll click that so it's 4.2 gigabytes select my tablet and then just accept and that's basically gonna gonna copy it over now uh, to install it and then the way that we install a zip package so what I've done on mine is actually factory reset it first uh, the reason I did that is I wanted to test that if it was So the reason I did that is I wanted to test if it was actually the tablet, if it was just a simple factory reset would clear the cache and then I would be able to uh, use the system update. But it didn't work, it still wouldn't uh, give me an update. I'm not too sure if it's something to do with the versions because this is going from a different Android version, uh, it's going to Android 15, if that's got something to do with it because I have had updates through the system update before. So I'm, re I'm really not sure about this one, about why it's doing that. Occasionally, I think when I jumped from Android 12 to Android 13, I had to do a zip package as well. And then from there, it offered me the updates through the system update. It's just a bit strange how uh, Le these Lenovo tablets do that. Because, yeah, when I went from 12 to 13, I did the zip. And then now from, 13 to, uh, from 14 to 15 or whatever version it was, uh, I can use the normal update, so I don't know, it's a bit funny really. Okay, so that's copied across, uh, so now I should be able to install it. Now when I tried this originally, it kept failing, which is why I reset the tablet to kind of give it the best opportunity to do it. Uh, apologies if I sound a bit rough as well. I was playing. Uh, I was playing a game last night, uh, The Last of Us Part Two. Fantastic game. If if you really want a story-driven game, highly recommend it. Uh, I won't spoil it because it is just the storyline is fantastic. I played um, The Last of Us Part One, and then I bought the pre-order for Part Two. Uh, amazing game. So let's give this a shot. Now I'm I'm a bit worried about doing this just because of some of the reports. Let me just tell you as well that there was actually an update to the YouTube stuff that uh, and the the Disney Plus app and a few others um, so a lot of people have basically had problems with video streaming uh, content such as Disney Plus and all So that's finished copying across, uh, so I'll, I'll try and install this in a minute. Um, so that's finished and it's copied across. I'll actually install this in a minute. Uh, before I do, I will just kind of give a few caveats again. Uh, if you want a full breakdown, I would suggest reading through this article or reading through these comments because there's quite a lot of interesting stuff on there. Uh, and sorry if I sound a bit rough as well. I was gaming last night and I was playing The Last of Us Part 2. Oh, that's a fantastic game. 
um, having a few beers and, and playing that. It's a great game. So a lot of people have actually said that they've had problems with uh, streaming some certain apps like Disney Plus um, and YouTube. And there was actually an update to this comment this morning when I checked. And it was to do with the Dolby sound. So this has some sort of Dolby sound in it. Basically, when you go into the settings, you're able to select Dolby Atmos or you're able to select, you know, standard or, or different things uh, within the settings. And I think that's what's creating the issue with some of these streaming apps like YouTube and, and what have you. Um, and it's, yeah, it's the same version as mine, which is the 2023 version, TB320FC. Um, so... Yeah, that's basically the warnings for this build. I am going to look a little bit more into this just before doing an install. And then I'll make another update once I've done the actual install process. I'll make an update about the build. I'm mainly telling, giving this news now so that you can download it. Um, and you can do some more research before I install it and then make a full um, a full guide on it if you if you want to wait for that guide till I've installed it and go through it then that's fine uh, but yeah I'm just kind of letting you guys know about this update now uh, because there's not much information yet about it if, I think when I searched um, so when I did this search Lenovo Legion Y700 2023 Android 15 it the, there wasn't much in fact there was loads of videos about the tablet but nothing to do with Android 15 the only real link was this first XDA post the rest of it was like that's my video and a few others but there was wasn't much on the actual Android 15 so I thought I'll make this video now to get that momentum going and then I can basically do the install and talk about the actual build and any of the problems and bugs and stuff with it so yeah I'll see you in the next one very soon